Hey, yo, what's up, y'all? It's your man Dave Hollis, the ghetto preacher, and you behind the scenes at my album release party. Come on, go with me. As y'all know, I've been away from mainstream music for a long time, so what I've been up to is just really trying to get myself together. You know, as, as an RB artist, you kind of lose yourself. So I had to go back home, get myself together, go back to the origin where it started, get with my mom, get some God in me. Yeah, that's right, I had to get some God in me. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, and, and get myself together. So I'm back now, and but I'm back with a purpose. How many ladies in here want a one-woman man? Y'all come on with it, come on with it. Song goes like this, it says this. So funny running into you has to be three years since we last seen each other. One story that sticks out to my mind is how I uh, how I came to be in Black Street, and uh, we was on the Bobby Brown Humping Around tour. We was at the Hampton Coliseum in Virginia. Teddy was there. I ended up doing the duet. Teddy heard it. He came back to me, and he said, "Yo, Dave, what are you doing after this?" And I told him, "Man, I'm trying to." start my solo career or start, you know, some kind of career I'm recording. And he said, listen, I got a spot open in this group called Black Street that I'm starting. And before he can get the words out, I was like, yes, sir, I'm in. And that was history. The rest is history. I got a new album called Chicago Wins, The Saga Continues, and my favorite song on this album is called Afraid to Lose You. And it's my favorite song because a lot of times we as men, we, we, we're afraid. We got so much stuff that we, you know, we got certain things against us and we take some of uh, our past relationships and bring it into the new one. And, you know, we're afraid to be who we are in front of our women. So Afraid to Lose You is just what it says. I'm afraid to lose my girl. What's next for me is, okay, this album is dropping. I'm planning on going out on the tour. I'm just trying to see what God has for me. In my past, I tried to control everything myself, but you know, I've learned that I'm not in control of me. My destiny has already been planned. The court process was a little bit different, you know, uh, now than it was back then because back then I was in a different headspace. I was really, really rah-rah back then. Everything I met head on with opposition, every opposition I met, I met it with anger. But now it's a new Dave, it's a more mature Dave, uh, got some act right in me. Now when I get with a, uh, get a situation that, you know, either I write about or go through, I have to stop myself and say, okay, listen. Now the process uh, of recording my music is I listen and then I react or then I speak up.